Hey guys, it's Drinkwater200 here. So this is the second version of my video on how to do lighting. I'm pretty sure that not everyone's going to sit sit through 23 minutes of a video about lighting on Dreams. But I will say that those who sit through those 23 minutes of lighting on Dreams on the last video that I made will be really damn good at Dreams lighting. Basically, you can do any type of design style that you want game style doesn't matter but for those that don't want to sit through 23 minutes and watch a video about lighting I'm making a shorter one so here we go so here I have the same scene as my old video and um what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop in a sun and sky gadget and we're gonna bring down the sun and brightness so we're gonna do custom lighting we're not using world lighting we're doing custom lighting if you want to use world lighting then yeah go ahead bring the sun change the, the sun color to whatever you want it doesn't matter okay but we're using custom lighting I'm showing you guys how to completely make your own lighting no sun needed but you can use the sun and you do need the sun if you want some scenes. So um, let's begin. So we're going to pop in a gradient effects and we're going to pop in a sun and sky. We're going to bring down the sun. And we're going to bring the sky flag to a square. We're going to leave this as it is if we want. We can bring that up though. We don't have to. Um, I always bring this up to 100. bring down the horizon definition bring down the fleck shadiness bring the fog to 99999 and you can choose to bring the sky saturation down so now we have a pretty nice lit area now you can choose to make this brighter as you can see or you can choose to make this darker anyways you can also mess with the bloom this does make a difference in the way your light your lights look as you can see this is with bloom this is without bloom with bloom without bloom so we can do 48 percent bloom sharpen always bring that down motion blur never bring that down to zero you never want to bring that down leave it at about 20 or 50 percent and the most magical important thing about lighting shadows and midtones and highlights so highlights basically changes the colors of the lights and the highlights of whatever has a shine on it midtones you can bring that up you can get a brighter scene Or you can bring it down. You never want to bring it too down because look at what happens. So we're going to leave that like that for now. Now shadows, you can mess with shadows however you want. As you can see. So if you want a tint of blue, you can go into shadows and you can make it a very subtle blue. As you can see. Or you can just completely bring up the shadows to white and make your game really bright. Now, if you do make your game really bright, you can bring down the midtones. But of course, you're losing that detail, as you can see. And you can bring up the contrast. Never bring it over 20, unless that's what you're going for. I always do about 20% and 
saturation does make a difference for this scene I'm going to bring down the saturation a bit because I don't want the, po the colors to pop out too much so I'm going to bring it to 40 and now we have this now we can make this dark or bright by going into gate and effects tool Yeah guys, it's just up to you. As you can see. And then we can also change the light colors, of course. So instead of white, if we wanted a nighttime type of color. Nighttime is like a dark, light bluish, very light, subtle bluish. There you go, guys. You got a pretty nice lit scene. Now, um, one really cool trick with the camera is you can go into the camera, press L1 and square, go into the camera, adjust your scene. You can bring up the aperture up or down I usually bring it all the way up and I you could either bring that and make that everything blurry or you can bring it up a bit by going into the focus distance and you can make certain parts of it blurry or you can make it only show the middle so this is blurry and the middle is the only thing that's not blurry so as you can see I have the C that's blurry right now but you can change that just by changing the focus distance and of course we can just mess with the bloom and make our lights pop out more As you can see also you can mess with the highlights and of course the shadows the shadows make a huge difference but yeah guys this is the uh, smaller version of the lighting tutorial and I hope you enjoyed have a good day